All right, we're back with trick or treat training, and it is. It's it's legitimate. You're saying to yourself, listen, all these kids are getting free candy. You know, either if your kids are grown or you don't have any kids, and you're saying, where, where does that leave me? <laughs> Where's my free candy? <laughs> then the idea, you go online and you see Kelly's thing. If you said, what are we going to need? A costume for your pet. This is Mr. Finnegan's costume. If he said, does he wear it? Not really. What you're gonna need you is a little trick-or-treat bucket. And I'm gonna tell you, I mean, it's kind of freaking me out. I bought this the other day. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, and until just two minutes ago, it's it's been sitting on the counter all this time. I, I did not notice that it was a blight up. If you said you didn't notice that button or any of it, no. If you said that's how it works. If you said you unplug that wire. That so if you that said helps kids from getting hit by a car. Okay, so if you said what do you do? Oh. If you said what about his costume? Yeah, he he'd probably probably better off. So what I want to do is just get the bucket down and get him away a little bit away. <laughs> That's his default. Okay. Don't just do it now. He does a dance beforehand. <laughs> right, I'll do the costume too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his hat. Ever. Anyway, that's how you do it. Pretty soon, your dog's getting free candy for you. And I just got fake candy. Gave him a look like. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> 